Scott, thank you for joining us. After yet another positive result, we take a trip to Grimsby this weekend. Can I get your thoughts on the end of that game? Yeah, obviously we're in a good place at the moment, so a game we're looking forward to. Um, it's a, a tough place to go. Um, you know, they're very hard working side. Paul's a good manager, you know, um, very experienced manager. Um, someone I've got a lot of respect for. But yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. We're, you know, we're, like I say, we're in a good place at the moment. So it's another game that, you know, we, we, we're looking forward to. Yeah, we're about to hit a very busy run of games as we head slowly into October. But a full week on the training ground, how's it been this week? Yeah, really good week. You know, we've, we've got some much needed work put into the players. Um, so yeah, we're in a good place. The, the, the mood around the camp's very good. The players are very buoyant. Um, we've worked hard. I think they always enjoy working hard. I think they enjoy kind of tough sessions, you know, early part of the week and some more structure to kind of the detail of how we want to play um, at the back end of the week um, against, uh, you know, a strong side in Grimsby. So yeah, we, we've had a good week. And we've had obviously three home games on the trot, all wins with Charlton, um, Tranmere and Newport. I suppose the lads are looking forward to getting back on the road and trying to convert, you know, some more away wins, which you know we were able to do just at the back end of last year. Yeah, we're mindful of that. You know, we're mindful that we want to we want to tidy that kind of up really as quickly as possible. We want to try and make sure that our record on the road is, um, you know, as good or somewhere close to what we are at home. You know, we're we're very good at home, um, and you know we're. We, listen, we've done okay on the road this uh, this season already. You know, we've, we've picked up some vital points at you know some tough places. Um, but you know, we want to try and get that first kind of win away from home. I think it's important that we try and obviously achieve that this weekend. Yeah, and do you think now is the sort of the best time to do it on the back of those victories? You know, as you've already touched on the mar the morale around camp is really high, isn't it? Yeah, no, we're in a, in a perfect kind of like place now to go and do that. You know, we're we're full of confidence. The team are playing well. We're scoring goals, um, so yeah, we're you know if any time we're you know why not now you know against like like I say a good, good side, a tough place to go. The pitch will be nice, um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to the game. Yeah, and we've spoken a lot about you know selection headaches that you might have. Obviously, Jay Williams comes back in from suspension potentially. Is there sort of any you know hard choices that you're going to have to make this weekend? I think there's always hard choices given the, the squad that I've got. You know. You know, we've got players, you know, who are coming off the pitch and, and scoring goals and making an impact and, you know, asking questions of, of me as a, as a manager and making sure that they're um, in my eye line all, always. And that's what I want. I want it to be difficult. Um, you know, we, we've also got the players who are starting the team who are playing really well, um, you know, and we've, we've won some games of late. So, you know, not wholesale changes are not needed, obviously. Um, but certain players are, are kind of knocking on my door, and and, and rightly so as well. Um, but you know, we build a squad for a reason. Like you say, in October, there's a lot of games coming thick and fast, and we're going to need all, every one of them players. Um, which is why we work extremely hard on the training ground to make sure that them players are always prepared, ready. Um, like you say, you saw Lolas on Saturday come on. Um, you know, we worked extremely hard with him, and he wasn't a starter, but he come on and and kind of won us the game. You know, with that strike. So, you know, it's important that we that we keep, you know, these players who are not playing, we keep them kind of ready, you know, because in a minute we're going to need them. Yeah, not just at home, but away as well. We're starting to see a lot more people coming to follow, you know, our home attendances have increased to an average of 3,000, you know, which in the last few years haven't been, haven't been heard of. That's a lot down to the football we're playing and how much fans are enjoying, you know, watching us play. And how pleasing is that to you as a manager to know that they're enjoying the football that yeah, you play? Yeah, exactly right. You know, it, it is really pleasing, obviously. You know, we want the, the fans to be proud of how the team play. We want them to come and support us in their numbers. We want them to be loud like they are. Um, you know, they've been brilliant. Like I've always kind of, you know, said about the fans and how well they've done since I've been here, certainly. And they've really supported the team. They're very good. Um, but like you say, it's a, you know, the flip side of that is that the players are playing well for them on the pitch, and you know they're you know, spending a lot of money to get themselves all the way up to Grimsby, which you know it's not round the corner. It's a long journey. It's a tough journey, and you know if they turn up in their numbers, fair play to them, you know, and and hopefully we can give them a good spectacle on the pitch. Yeah. Hi Scott, when I spoke to you on Monday, I think you were just about to start watching the Wrexham Grimsby game. Um, what were your main takeaways from that? Obviously they lost 3-0, but what, what did you see in the Grimsby side? It could be a danger to you. 
lots to be honest with you there's lots of dangers you know they've got really good legs in the middle of the pitch they're hard work inside you know they, they press really well um, you know there was there was moments in the game that they, they could have scored you know and should have scored um, but yeah they're, they're a tough tough side you know um, I know results have been kind of indifferent in many ways for them but um, you know I think Paul's a really good manager um, somebody like I, I you know, I've got plenty of respect for and um, they're always a tough t- uh, tough side to play against they're always hard working and they'll press you they'll they'll run hard they'll run after you they'll run off the ball you know we've got good runners off the ball you know make good runs and in behind you and they they you know they, they ask questions of you defensively so we're going to have to be on our guard for sure um, but you know we're going to concentrate on us as well you know we have to because of the way we're playing we have to concentrate on what we're going to do and how we're going to do it which we have done this week um, but like I say it's been a really good week in training so yeah we're looking forward to the game yeah, and um, you've got Wrexham in a couple of weeks time is it hard to sort of just focus on Grimsby or did you look at both sides no no I no, no, just focused on Grimsby I, I, I wouldn't even you know I couldn't tell you anything about Wrexham you know just focus solely on Obviously, I looked at their shape of, of what they played and you know where the spaces was and stuff like that. But uh, solely focused on grooms, but I think it's impossible to watch kind of two teams at the same time. You know, if you're doing it in real detail, like, like obviously like, like we do, you know. So yeah, no, focused on that. Um, I didn't just watch obviously the Wrexham game. I watched you know a number of games and you know like I say, especially games at home, they they come after you. They're, they're you know front foot team and you know and, and I'm expecting the same on Saturday. Yeah. I saw a tweet earlier from, I can't remember who it was from, it was like a League 2 pundit, who said it's great to see Scott Lindsay getting the best out of Liam Kelly um, this season after a couple of tough seasons for all, tough, tough few seasons for um, Liam. What is it about Liam that made you bring him to the club and how are you surprised how quickly he settled in and hit the ground running? I'm not surprised, no. Um, but, you know, listen, Liam Kelly's a really good footballer, that's why he suits kind of what I want to do. He's almost tailor-made you know uh, to play in my team and to play in the position that I'm playing him in he, he, he's been fantastic you know and not only has he been very good with the ball but you know you look at his running stats they're through the roof you know he, he covers the ground really well he makes tackles he's an aggressive you know player as well you know um, but no he's, he's he's been great for me um, why have I got the best out of him just because it suits how we play I think I think it suits him um, you know I've always been I think he knows I've always been an admirer of him as well. You know, he came to Swindon a couple of seasons ago when I was the assistant manager there. Um, he had a pre-season with us, and we never took him. And I always felt we should have. Um, I thought, you know, I thought we made a mistake in in, in not signing him. Um, but that happens. You know, it wasn't my decision. Um, he went elsewhere and played a bit of football and did really well when he was at Rochdale. You know, in my opinion, I thought he was one of the best midfield players in the division even though they got relegated you, you know you've seen him score some good goals and he, he you know there's moments where certainly when I watched him in, in in you know in real detail like I do he was the best player on the pitch in a lot of the games he played in and I'd say he, he really suits what we're doing yeah and you said to me earlier in the week you pretty much got a team bill of health at the moment is that still the case and how hard does that make your job easy? yeah no <laughs> no we are a clean bill of health you want that as a manager you want players to be available um, it does make it hard obviously um, which I want as well you know I've got you know, that's why I'm in this position because I've got to make decisions um, but at the moment with the team the way they're playing there's not too many tough decisions to make in my opinion I don't think there needs to be you know as well as the boys have, have done kind of in the Charlton game and the boys have done when they've come on the pitch they've done great there doesn't need to be you know too many changes we're doing great uh, the boys who are starting you know so um, hopefully you know we don't get any injuries and hopefully we can rotate the squad round when it comes relevant to do so in terms of Saturday Tuesday Saturday Tuesday which in October it is a little bit more like that so that's maybe when I do rotate it um, but at the moment you know maybe there might be one change for Saturday maybe two but it won't be much more than that yeah and just on a different note, just over the road tonight, there's going to be European football for the first yeah. time ever in Sussex. Is that something, are you, are you, do you watch that kind of stuff or are you mainly focused just on No, that? I actually nearly went to the game, I was nearly going to go to the game tonight. Um, you know, it's. Uh, I speak to the Brighton first team coach quite a lot, actually, Andy Crofts, a good friend of mine, so I speak to him quite a lot and I nearly nearly went to the game tonight. But no, it's brilliant for the county for sure. You know, I think it's the first time ever, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, it's a, it's a big thing for the county, you know, for... For, for Brighton and you know they've done great haven't they you know they I, I really watched them as well they play some great football 
Um, and I speak, like I say, I speak to their first team coach quite often as well. He's a big fan of us as well. You know, they uh, they watch us in their office at, uh, at the training ground at Brighton. They, he tells me that they watch us quite a lot, and he's impressed with what we're doing. So no, we've, we've got a good relationship with them. Yeah. So that, could that mean link up loanees and stuff like that? Yeah, for sure. You know, we have spoke. Yeah, definitely, we have spoke about you know potential players coming in and. You know, we took obviously a couple of players last season from there, Teddy Jenks and, and Jack Spong, you know. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely a good relationship going between the two clubs.